Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you having trouble backing up your WhatsApp data on your iPhone and it is stuck in the uploading process? In this video, I'll show you some methods to fix this issue so you can successfully create a backup of your WhatsApp data. Let's go! First, make sure your iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi network. You can check this by opening your browser and going to YouTube or any other website. Please take note that WhatsApp uses your iCloud storage when backing up your data. So, ensure that your iCloud account has enough available storage space. To check, open Settings, tap on your Apple ID and go to iCloud. At the top of the page, you can see details about your iCloud storage. If your iCloud storage is low on free space, the backup process may not be completed. Depending on the number of images and videos you have, you might need up to 10 GB of free iCloud storage. If you lack sufficient iCloud storage, subscribe for more. Also, check if your WhatsApp backup is enabled in iCloud. If it's not, it may cause issues during the backup process. Try toggling it on before retrying the backup. You can also try to force restart your device. This approach is very simple, but it frequently fixes any minor software glitches on your iPhone. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button and release it when the Apple logo appears. If you're using an older iPhone model, you can refer at the tag in the top right corner or find the link to the Apple support page in the description below to know how to force restart your device properly. Another solution is to sign out of iCloud and sign back in. Open the Settings app and tap on your Apple ID profile. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and tap Sign Out. Enter your Apple ID password and tap Turn Off to proceed. If you're asked whether you want to keep a copy of your data on the device, you can choose to keep it. Wait for a few minutes before proceeding to log in again. Tap Sign In on your device. Then enter your Apple ID email and password. If two-factor authentication is enabled, enter the six-digit verification code sent to your trusted device or phone number to complete the sign-in process. In some cases, this type of error may also occur when the iCloud servers are experiencing technical problems. To check their status, you can visit Apple's online status page. If the servers are currently experiencing issues, it's advisable to wait and perform the backup later. Another option is to create a complete backup of your iPhone. Go to Settings and tap on your Apple ID profile. Select iCloud and scroll down to find iCloud Backup. Go to iCloud Backup and then tap on Backup Now. Make sure to stay connected to your Wi-Fi network until the backup process is completed. Your WhatsApp chats will be included in this backup. To double-check, you can verify it by clicking on the backup of your iPhone. In case of backup errors, try to remove your most recent WhatsApp backup on your iPhone. To do so, open Settings and tap on your name above. Navigate to iCloud and tap on Manage Account Storage. Go to the Backups menu and select your device's latest backup from the list. Tap Show All Apps to expand the list and toggle off WhatsApp to delete its backup data. After that, try to run the backup process again. Another good alternative worth a try is to use a third-party software. With iMyTrans from iMyPhone, users can easily transfer their WhatsApp data directly between Android and iOS devices, create backups on their computers, and restore from existing WhatsApp backups. For your reference, click the tag or link in the description below to give the software a try. This program is available for both Windows and Mac, so choose your operating system and download the software. Although iMyTrans is generally a paid software, backing up your WhatsApp data is completely free. The rest of the features discussed require a premium subscription. When the download is complete, run the file and follow the on-screen instructions to install on your computer.
After installation, connect your iPhone to your computer using an original or an MFI certified cable. On your iPhone, enter your device passcode when prompted and click Trust to confirm the connection. In the dashboard, select WhatsApp from the list of available social apps. iMyTrans provides two different ways to transfer your WhatsApp data. The first is the Transfer Mode, which allows users to transfer data directly from their iPhone to an Android or other iOS device, or vice versa. While the other option is to use the combined Backup and Restore functions. Before using either of these methods, you will first need to disable Find My on your iPhone, which the software requires. Open Settings on your device and tap on your name above. Navigate to Find My, open the Find My iPhone menu, and then toggle it off. Now, let's try the first option, the Transfer Mode. This is the most convenient when you have another device ready to transfer WhatsApp data to. To start, make sure both the source and target devices are already connected to your computer. Click the flip button to reverse the selection and identify which one is the source and which one is the target device where the data will be transferred. Note that WhatsApp data will be removed from the target device if the app was already installed on it. Once both are set correctly, click the transfer button to begin migrating the data. Don't forget to re-enter the device passcode from your source device to confirm the process. After that, the program will extract the WhatsApp data and transfer it to your target device. Your device should reboot automatically and WhatsApp data should be transferred once the migration is complete. On the other hand, the second option is to create a backup first and restore from it later. This time, choose the backup mode from the sidebar. Keep your source device connected and click the backup button to start the process. To confirm access to your WhatsApp, re-enter the device passcode on your iPhone. Then wait while the program backs up your WhatsApp data. Note that the process may take some time depending on the amount of data from your WhatsApp. When the backup is finished, the data will then be stored on your computer. The next step is to restore your WhatsApp data to your target device. The good thing about this is that you can always do a restore at your convenience as long as you have a backup in place. With iMyTrans, you don't need to uninstall and reinstall WhatsApp on your iPhone to restore your data. When you proceed to the Restore or Export tab from the dashboard, the program will automatically display all available backups scanned from your computer. Simply choose the specific file you need and click Restore to begin restoring your app to the specified backup date. Another useful feature is that the program gives you the option to preview the selected backup, so you can selectively choose the chats or attachments you want to restore. Then click the Next button and begin restoring to the selected backup. However, keep in mind that any WhatsApp data not included on the backup dates will be overwritten. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.